sometimes crispy, oftentimes chewy, moist in the center, but still crunchy on the outside. You'll find everything from chocolate to peanut butter to nuts and even dried fruit inside. What am I talking about? One of your favorites and mine, cookies. Did you know that globally, the cookie industry is worth over $30 billion? And that's only projected to grow in the coming years. Americans alone eat over 2 billion cookies a year. We're celebrating everything inside the cookie jar. This is Modern Marvel's Cookies. I'm gonna start right here with one of my favorite cookies on the planet, Entenmann's Original Recipe Chocolate Chip Cookies. Now, Entenmann's, which is now part of Bimbo Bakeries, can trace its roots back to the 19th century as a baked goods purveyor out of my hometown of Brooklyn, New York. They produce over 120 products, which you'll find in that famous see-through window box in specially designated aisles at your local grocery. In 1974, they introduced the chocolate chip cookie and have become one of the best-selling baked good companies ever since. They're letting me behind the curtain to witness the secret ingredients and the magic-making process and to see what goes into making Entenmann's chocolate chip cookies so perfect. I'm going to meet with Miss Kathleen Robbins, who has been with Entenmann's for over 30 years. So if anybody is gonna know how Entenmann's works their magic, it's Kathleen. Amazing. This sprawling factory, and it smells like a small bakery in the neighborhood. So we're gonna start up front, and as a matter of fact, it looks like the first stage of mixing. Alex is here mixing the cookie dough. Nice to meet you, nice man. Meet Thank you, you so much for letting me intrude on your work. Like any batch of cookies, the first step is to mix your ingredients. But in this case, it's on a bit of a larger scale. The bulk delivery of sugar, oils, and flour are stored in the giant silos outside of the factory. Alex is the man in charge of weighing the precise bulk measurements of sugar, butter, and eggs into the mixture. But next, he adds something I can't identify, Entenmann's super secret special sauce. So the liquid that goes in here on this stage, I can't discuss because it's all. Uh, OK, we got to protect the trade craft. Exactly. I respect the game. I respect the sacrosanct Entenmann's knowledge. Fair enough. In the 1980s, Entenmann's hired a flavorist to come up with this balanced mixture of liquids to enhance all the different ingredients in the chocolate chip cookies. Even though I can't tell you for sure what's in the mix, I can tell you that I definitely smell vanilla and maybe a hint of brown sugar. This smells so good, I just kind of want to put my head in it. Like... <laughs> Amazingly, these 1,200 pounds of dough will be fully baked in under 30 minutes. I can't wait to see how they do that. So 1,200 pounds of mix makes how many cookies? 50,000 cookies. 50,000. In one year, we make 180 million cookies. It's going to take a much bigger glass of milk than I brought. <laughs> the next step on our journey from dough to cookie is to hoist 1,200 pounds of Entenmann's chocolate chip cookie dough to the top of the cookie depositor. Let us ascend. Release the Kraken. There you go. Did you see the, the dough flowing out? Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? And with that swift pull of a lever, and with a little help from gravity, I freed the fresh cookie dough, allowing it to flow down a series of rollers that flatten the dough to the perfect thickness to be wire cut. The wire cutting machine is equipped with 18 nozzles that each extrude enough dough to measure 10 grams per cookie. 
These 18 nozzles will stroke more than 3,000 times before it's done measuring out all of the 1,200 pounds of cookie dough. Longingly, we wait for these sweet treats to cool just like at Grandma's house. This is where Kathleen says Entenmann's soft-baked chocolate chip cookies are at their best. So this is the first section of the cooling tunnel before they get to the secondary cooler so that they're cool enough to pack. The cookies must spend about 45 minutes here before moving on to be boxed in that iconic see-through window box we all know and love. If not cooled properly, the cookies will lose their shape and moisture and they can break apart. No one gets to eat them before this cooling process. Well, except for me. So this is the best place to taste them? Right here. This is the exact spot. Well, this is your place. Milady, would you mind doing the honors? Yes, I will. This is an epic day. Yes. A cookie from the Cookie Oasis. Not too hot, not too crispy. Mm. That's like fudge inside. But when you take a tray of brownies out of the oven, and it's still chewy, but it's almost like a caramel. Oh. Sadly, I'll have to say goodbye to these delights as they make their way to be packaged in the iconic Entenmann's window box. With that many machines and that many people taking part in the baking process, how does Entenmann's maintain the high standard of quality for which they're known? Well, that is the concern of this very department, quality control, and this lovely lady to my left, Susan, thank you for having us. Can you explain how you do quality control on stuff like cookies and baked goods? Absolutely. First of all, we're gonna weigh it. We have weight standards that we have to meet. Okay. So it comes out to 342, our label weight is 340. We're good to go. So what are we doing next? We're gonna look for the, what the grain looks like on the inside of this cookie. See, it looks a little doughy. Yeah. We call that the bone. Moist layer of dough right there. And this cookie has good bone. Who knew that cookies have bones? So that's sort of how you can tell if it's been overbaked or underbaked or yes. something like that. Is that an industry standard term or an Entenmann standard term? Entenmann. Aside from weight and hunting for bones, there are so many quality control checks Susan will go through, like laying them out as though she were playing backgammon just to check the color and checking the size against a chart to make sure they're not too small. But what's next is what I think makes Susan's job a dream job. One last test. We get to eat them now. Oh, yes. Quality control is my favorite. Mmm, good bones. Good cookie. It evokes home baked without question. So before I let you go, I'm just so, because this looks like a lab. This is sort of like cookie CSI. I'm looking over here and I see like little things that are for like food evaluation use, little crumbles and stuff. What is all this stuff? Inclusions. They're just little bits that you put into your batter or dough. A chocolate chip is an inclusion. Well, okay, maple. So is this maple something that is currently being worked on or that they're trying to include? I cannot say no. I thought I had a cool job. I was very wrong. Would you like to taste it? Can I? You can. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's, it's like little crumbly bits of French toast and happiness. Oh, is that good? And super mapley. All right, maple lovers. Keep an eye out because these little granules of joy are coming your way. So what happens with the rest of these? They go in the garbage. Oh, the hell they do. May I take two more? Please. Oh, cookies. 
We eat more than 2 billion of them per year, and that is just as Americans. Globally, the cookies industry is worth over $30 billion, and it is no wonder. Cookies are marvelous.